Hello, welcome to tutorial for your channel. In this video, we will write a program to convert a decimal number to binary number. First of all, what is decimal number? A decimal number is a base 10 number because it ranges from 0 to 9. There are total 10 digits between 0 to 9. Any combination of digits is decimal number such as 223, 585, 192. 0, 7. and what is binary number binary number is a base 2 number because it is either 0 or 1 any combination of zeros and 1 is binary number such as 1001 basically decimal number is the normal numbers starting from 0 to 9 and binary number is what a computer can understand for example if we enter 1 computer cannot understand that this number is 1 it will translate it has 0 in binary number if we type 2 it will translate it has 1 0 if we type 3 it will translate it has 1 1 so this binary number is what a computer can understand so we will write a program that will input a decimal number and convert it and gives us the binary number of it for example if we enter 3 it should give us 11 if we enter 9 it should give us 1001 so let's have a look at this program so it's saying enter the number to convert so we will enter 9 I click enter so as you can see it is converted 9 to 1001 binary number of the given number is 1001 as you can see 9 is 1001 if we enter here 10 it will give us 1010 So to make this program we will need two variables of integer and one integer array and two for loop. So the first for loop will be we will be inserting some values in the array and the second for loop will be used to print that values on the screen. So let's have a look on the code. First we will make two integer, first is the number and second is i which we will use in our for loop. Next we have an integer error and we will give it an index up to 10. Next we will print this line, enter the number to convert, as you can see enter the number to convert and then whatever the user have entered we will convert it in integer and store it in number variable so this is our first for loop we are starting the loop with 0 i is equal to 0 and the condition here we are providing that it should be greater than 0 and then we are adding plus plus in it so every time this loop will run it will keep incrementing the i variable and it will check the condition that the number should be greater than 0 next we are using our array and passing the i variable in that error so our array if the i variable will be 0 our array index will be 0 and then we are storing the remainder basically this formula is to take out remainder of this number variable for example if a user have entered number 8 it will divide 8 by 2 divided by 2 gives us the remainder 0 so when this loop will run for the first time i value will be 0 so our array index 0 it will store the number 0 
or the remainder was zero this line of code will get the remainder of the number and will store in this array next we are dividing the number by 2 so if we divide 8 by 2 we will get 4 so our number will become 4 so this loop will run again it will first increment the i variable so i our i was 0 now it will become 1 and then it will check the condition 4 is greater than 0 which is true then it will go to the next line now our array i value has become 1 so now our array is at index 1 equal to now our number is 4 so 4 divided by 2 2 multiplied by 2 gives us 4 and the remainder will be 0 so our array at index 1 will store 0 so then next line a number is 4 divided by 2 gives us 2 so this loop will run again it will increment the i variable so now our i variable become 2 and the number will be 2 as well so 2 is greater than 0 then this it will go to the next line so our i has become 2 so at array index 2 it will have the remainder so number 2 multiplied by 2 gives us the remainder 0 our array at index 2 will become 0 then now our number is 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 so our number will become 1 then this i will increment it so now our i will become 3 so 1 is greater than 0 so our condition is true then our array will be at index 3 is equal to 1 divided by 2 so it cannot be possible so we will divide 2 multiply by 0 gives us 1 has the remainder so our array at index 3 will store 1 in it then it will go to the next step so 1 divided by 2 gives us 0 so our loop will first increment the i variable so our i variable become 4 and then it will check the condition so our number will become 0 so 0 is not greater than 0 our condition is false so this loop will stop so as you can see our array at index 0 is 0 at index 1 is 0 at index 2 is 0 and at index 3 it is 1 next what we have to do is to print this array so to print this array first we have to make it reversed got the binary numbers but it is in reverse form basically the binary number of 8 is 1 0 0 0 and then we have to print each value of this array so to do that we will need one more for loop and this time we are minusing the i variable and this loop will run in reverse so our i value is 4 minus 1 so we are minusing 1 because our index last value will be 3 and our i is 4 so that's why we are minusing 1 from it basically whenever this for loop runs it always first increment the value then it check the condition which end up with i is equal to 4 so our i was 4 we minus 1 our i will become 3 then it will check if i is greater than or equal to 0 if the condition is true it will go in for the first time then we will print console.write array at index i which is 3 so our array will print 1 as i said that it will go reverse so our array will print 1 first then i will minus 1 from 8 so our i will become 2 it will check 2 is greater than or equal to 0 so our condition is true then it will print array at index 2 which is 0 then it will 
minus 1 again which will make i has 1 it will check 1 is greater than or equal to 0 which is true so it will print array at index 1 then it will minus 1 again i will become 0 then it will check i 0 is greater than or equal to 0 which is true because it is equal to 0 so then it will print array at 0 index which is 0 run again it will minus i by 1 so our i was 0 minus 1 gives us minus 1 so minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 it's now become false so our loop will stop running and the final answer will be 1000 so let's look this program in action so it's saying enter the number to convert so I am entering 8 as you can see it has printed 1000 so that's it for today thank you for watching like and subscribe for more videos have a nice day